just over. I mean, didn't have the, the outcome that I wanted it to, or I'm pretty sure everybody on the team wanted it to, but I mean, it's, it's over. So, I mean, I, that kind of was the thought that was going through my head once the buzzer sounded. Well, you could probably detect a note of disappointment and maybe a little relief there from Jalen Withers. Thought he summed it up pretty well. It is over. It is closing time here at the ACC tournament for the University of Louisville men's basketball team. They close the book on the longest, most disappointing, worst season in the program's modern history, maybe ever in the program's history. Four and 28 after an 18 point loss to Boston College here in the first round of the ACC tournament in Greensboro. I'm Eric Crawford from WDRB. Well, a lot of post-mortem on this team, if you want to call it that. But uh, really, they were down one with 12 minutes to play with a chance against a Boston College team playing without its best player, one of its other best players who was in foul trouble, to extend its season, to do something a little bit hopeful. And they answered, as I said in my column, with an emphatic hell no. They got blitzed from that point on. No rebounding, no defense, eight layups from that point on for Boston College. This team was just not connected all season, and it really now turns to discussions of what's going to happen, who's going to stay, who's going to go, and how does head coach Kenny Payne respond to this? What kind of players does he bring in? What kind of changes does he make? He talked all year about culture. This was not a team that displayed a lot of good culture, even in a loss. Uh, this, this, it was not not particularly anything in this loss that, that was much redeeming for Louisville in its final game. Leaves a tough image to go out on. This was the first time after the game that we got a chance to talk to players in the locker room afterwards. Here's what a few of them had to say. So it was a lot of small stuff for us that I guess really couldn't click and uh, carried over into the, the bigger things and made the bigger things look a lot bigger than they were. Where does this team, this program, and, and you kind of go from here? Um, that's what we got the offseason to figure out. Um, it's disappointing, you know. I feel like it's my first year, you know. But at the end of the day, I like, it's all it's all life, you know. Like everything's a learning experience, and I definitely learned a lot about myself, physically and mentally. And uh, I'm definitely just gonna take this and move forward as a person. Uh, yeah, I really have no idea. Definitely just gonna sit, talk to my family, you know, take a look in the mirror, figure out everything I got going on with myself first, you know, figure out where I'm going forward, and definitely talk to my family, see what they think, and then come back to it. You know, we're going to have our after the season talk and however that goes, um, you know, I'm ready. And that's all I can really say. You get that feeling that things are really over, like stuff really hits hard. Even though you, I still have another year eligibility, like I just feel like things should just went, went different from my senior year at all. You feel what I'm saying? And that time ran out, like it just really hit home, like that this should be my last time playing this jersey. And, like this program meant everything to me, you know, like coming here, KP gave me a chance, you know, to show how well of a player I was. And I just feel like just disappointing season, you know. In the end here, I guess just a, a sad closing uh, to what has been a, a really sad chapter. You hope it's one of those things for Kenny Payne's sake that you could look back on and maybe not laugh, but think, boy, look where they were and look how far he's brought them. But he's got a challenge ahead of him uh, to bring in players and to change the culture because the, the culture – really didn't change. This team lost 15 of its last 18 games last season and not much changed. It's hard to change the culture when you're losing. So that's something they've got to get over and they've got to get over it very quickly. One thing that happens as a result of this season is that Kenny Payne doesn't buy himself much time and he's going to have to perform quickly and well next season. That's going to have to be something that happens. We'll talk more in the future about what needs to happen next season for people to be satisfied with a year two under Kenny Payne. He got a couple questions. Brooks Holton of the Courier Journal, formerly WDRB, he asked some tough questions of Kenny Payne in his press conference. I wasn't at the press conference because we were talking to players in the locker room, but uh, Payne didn't quite appreciate the questions. It didn't sound like. Here were some of his answers on that. Hey, Kenny, i um, just wondering, you know, um, as you guys, uh, you know, uh, got to this point in the season, um, have you had uh, um, talks with uh, Josh Hurd about your future here? And, you know, if so, if so, um, how did those talks go? Anything that he was saying to you as you now, you know, look to build? 
really don't understand. Have I talked to Josh about my future? Yes. Yeah, just like, you know, like, have you all had conversations about, you know, that this is where, you know, you know, where he wants to see on the program headed and just also, you know, you know, just things that he wants to see here and moving forward. I don't think that's a good question, my friend. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. Of course, I have not had one conversation with Josh heard about my future. Um, um, I don't know if there's a reason to have a conversation with Josh heard about my future. Um, I go to work every day. I love Josh. Josh says he loves me. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I got a job to do. Yes, Kenny. So you said you're going to take some time, you know, to think about, you know, just um, how to move forward here. Um, and when I you think about two days, some days. Okay. Two days. Two days. Okay. Um, when you think about, you know, you know, and the coaches on your staff, um, how do you go about uh, talking to them about, you know, um, you know, uh, taking stock and how they did this year and coaching with you and, you know, you know, just uh, building that staff and uh, continuing to you know move forward. Still don't understand the question, but I can tell you, I have one of the best staffs in college basketball. I can tell you that there are unique individuals that have had so much success in this game. I can't believe you just asked that question um, because you're looking at guys that have accomplished more in their life as players, forget coaching. Their experience in life is why I hired them. They are great coaches and they gave these kids love every day. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't even understand the question, like how, what is there to evaluate? I asked them to love the young men. That's why I hired them to adopt their dreams. That's why I hired them. Um, nothing else. They did their jobs. They did a great job. I love my staff. Payne is going to have to answer some questions here in this offseason about the way things went, the way he did things. He's going to have to evaluate himself as well as everybody else. I'm sure all of that is well underway and will be in the coming weeks. There'll still be a lot to follow, still be a lot to cover. It just will not include a trip to the NCAA tournament or any other postseason. It's a wrap for Louisville's men's basketball season and not a particularly happy one. From here in Greensboro, we will talk more about this back in Louisville and for some time, I'm sure. From Greensboro, for WDRB Sports, I'm Eric Crawford.